Righteous on the beat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, I'm Sin and welcome to my channel. Excuse my lace, y'all. In the viewfinder, it looked a lot better than that. And also, when I actually used the lace spray stuff, it melts so much better. So, just excuse that. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of like a hair review. Not Definitely not a tutorial. I just kind of like did a ran through of what I, while I was trying to do my hair. But before I get into all of that, I would like to start this video off by saying who won the last giveaway of last year. I was giving away a um, face spinning brush. I'll link that video down below if you kind of, if you guys are interested in just seeing about the brush. Um, I have a 70% all code, which is in the description box if you want to check that out. If you would like to get one, but the winner of that um giveaway, I will have her name and her comment on the screen. The way that I was choosing was either I would like the name that you gave or I would just do it by random. So the name that I decided to choose for you guys, if you are subscribed to my channel, is Cinebabes. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. Um, somebody gave the idea of Cinna Babies, and that's kind of like what I came off of it from. But in my head, I was thinking about like Cinnabons. So I was just like, hey, Cinna Babe, Cinna Babe game, whatever. So I think it's cute. I hope you guys like it. Let me know how you guys feel about it. But for now, that's you guys' name. So that's me showing her. And I also want to start doing like notification shout outs. I don't get that many comments, but when I do get comments, I would like to kind of like start shouting them out just to kind of show my appreciation for you guys to be interacting with me on my social medias. So again, Thank you guys who entered the giveaway and congratulations to the giveaway winner. I hope you enjoy your prize. So back to this video. So this video is sponsored by, I hope I do not murder their name, but either is Jaja, maybe Jaja, Yaya. Kind of sometimes people don't pronounce the J. Um, but it's J-A-J-A -A -A hair, 100% human hair wigs. This is a, a company, they reached out for me reach out to me to try out one of their wigs that's on Amazon. Very inexpensive. This is what it came in inside of the Amazon Prime bag, which the box is really cute. It's really colorful. And then inside of it, of course, came the wig, a wig cap, and then just like a, a card with their stuff on it. It has their Instagram, their email, and their WhatsApp. So that's the So yeah. And the clips that I had um did like two three days ago was basically when I I have I bleached the knots on this wig I bleached the knots I added foundation to the wig which I also show in the clips I did I cut my lace and I actually put it on with this lace melt spray that I absolutely love I love it and um I actually went out so the hair is naturally like a kinky curly and it's poofy it's super poofy which to me makes it look like really natural. Like, that could be my natural hair if I wanted to, like, fake it and say it's my natural hair. Like, it's that type of poofy. It would be my hair if I blew it out and then wet it, like, a little bit. But last night, what I did was I went through and I hot combed. I didn't actually glue the, the wig down this time. Which, this wig is very much glueless. But anyway, so I hot combed it last night because I didn't want the top to be poofy. I hot combed it from, like, I brushed it out, hot combed the roots really flat, and then... I brushed out the hair, took the hot comb, ran through the top of it, ran through the bottom of it, and then through the ends one time. So I hot combed through the hair technically three times, but only three times on the... What well, I hot combed it three times, but one time in each section. Like, I did the top, I did up under it, and I did the ends. So every piece of the hair only got hot combed once. But I went over each section about three times, if you understand what I'm saying. And after I did that, I wet it, like... Wet it, wet it, wet it. And then I got this curling cream that I had won in a giveaway like a few years ago that I still have. I don't use it on my natural hair because it makes things, like, it makes my hair really crunchy and my hair doesn't like it. So I use it on my curly weaves because I can get it crunchy. And like back here you can really see like how to find and like that's super crunchy. This part of the front is fluffed out already as you can tell. So basically all that I do after that is I grab the hair and I just pull it. That breaks the cast and Boom. So I like it more like laid. I don't like it like super poofy. It's just not my cup of tea. I do like a little bit of volume, but like not a lot. Like, this is good. But so far about the hair. Hold on, because I actually have. Okay, so I'm going to get into the details about the hair. This is my notebook. This was back when I first started doing like hair reviews. I had a thing where I would actually go through. So 
the price. The price of this wig, this is a 4x4 closure wig. Kinky curly hair, 18 inch, which it is. At first, I thought it was short because of when I opened it. Of course, it was kinky curly and it's like texture that they sent it to you in. So, it looks super short. But once I wet it, I had wet it and stuff, I could see the length. And of course, now it's in natural state. So, you can still stretch it out. So, it's definitely true to length, number one. But number two, the price for it, I believe, I have to put it on the screen just in case I'm wrong, but I believe it was like once, 120 with tax. But I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. But very good price in my opinion, especially for like, you get a full blown wig, 18 inches for 120. And it's like a curly texture that is, in my opinion, a really good price. So I'm sorry, I just keep fluffing it. Cause I'm a natural girl, so I like to fluff, even though I hot combed it down. So that it wouldn't be too fluffy. But yeah. um, Color bleach, the knot, the knot's bleached beautifully. And it was so easy. I ran like I haven't actually like done hair in so long. So this was my first time like actually bleaching and doing all that stuff to hair. Like I did, I barely plucked my hairline. Like I really, you will see in the um in the clips. Like I barely plucked my hairline. But literally, the knots bleached so beautifully. I put it on there. I gave it like 20 minutes and they was bleached. Like not no like oh they're kind of bleached or some knots are not bleached. Like it was bleached. It was so crazy how easy it was. So definitely takes good to bleach in color. I might like bleach the hair here one time. I don't know. Maybe I think I'm leaving a lot. But yeah, the, the knots they bleach beautifully. Takes good to bleach. Um heat, it takes good to heat because like I told y'all, it I put the hot comb through it and it still is curly. Now is it as curly? No. Which was the idea that I was going for, which is why I hot combed it. it I feel like if I would have blow dried it or some like some other type of heat that it wouldn't have like loosened as much as it did. But I feel like because I did the hot comb and I went through like top, bottom, and that it helped to elongate it, which was what I was going for. So I said it tastes good to heat. I I would not recommend blowing the hair out and then trying to straighten it and then trying to get it back to its natural hair state. Cause I mean, why? If you want straight hair, get straight hair. But I say for the heat that I did put on it, it did very good. Especially for the fact that like it came back. Cause I know like with closures and frontals, their texture be a lot looser than the rest. So I would expect it. The front, like I was scared. I thought I messed up the front. But once I put that water on it and I put the cream on it, it went right back. Shedding and tangling. This hair, I mean, it is curly hair. So of course I got like minimum shedding. Like literally minimum. And that was when, after I was plucking and stuff. Which, I mean, because I plucked the hair, but honest, like, I would not sit up here and lie to y'all. It was such minimum shedding. No tangling. I brushed it while it was dry. I plucked it while it was dry and still was brushing it and stuff. And when I wet it, don't need no cream on it and it slides through. This is really some, like, I I don't order hair off of Amazon. <laughs> I don't think I've ever ordered hair off of Amazon. So to get this from Amazon, knowing that like I just don't shop on Amazon, it really has changed my out my, my outlook on Amazon vendors. That hair is just as good. Like it's really good. No tangling. Minimal shedding. Minimal like little shedding. I highly recommend. Like. <laughs> And okay, well, all of that, let me get that. So, like, shipping, handling, and customer service, I did everything through, we was communicating through email, which is how we came up with the the sponsorship of doing the hair, but I ordered it off of, through Amazon with them. And, of course, with Amazon, when it comes to, like, shipping and stuff, it's two-day shipping, service was good, I didn't have no reason to, like, you know, email them to be like, anything bad went wrong. They was there every step of the way when, from the hair being shipped to it like, getting here. So again, I highly recommend this hair. Again, this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna look at the lace. And remember, I do not have it like stuck. So like, it might slide back a little bit. But ow, I just got my nails done. Getting back used to having nails. But yeah, so again, if you guys are interested in this hair, links will be down below in the description box. I don't want to mess with their name, so I'm just put it on the screen. But it has to be either. I'm not even going to try it again. But again, thank you guys for sponsoring this video. I enjoyed this hair. Like, y'all, I really do love this hair. My mama looking at it now. So, it's really pretty. It's super pretty in person. Like, at first, I did not think I was going to like it, but I really like it. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. My at name is somewhere on the screen because I'm editing on iMovie. But my at handle is simply sin and if you have not subscribed already make sure you subscribe and join the city bay gang but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video like i said make sure you like comment and subscribe i'm signing off Peace.